national champ, Drew Foster, rolled up on us in the parking lot a little heavy. He almost got clapped up like back in Atlanta. He didn't know what he was rolling up on. I uh, was just testing you out. Yeah, he's, he's just testing our gangster. And he, he got, he got, we ran, we bum rushed the car. Um, how cool is it to see your name on that wall, national uh, champ? It was pretty sweet. I mean, uh, one day I come in and I don't think I was the one to notice it. I think uh, someone pointed it out and I'm just like, no kidding. It's like one of those things you, uh, you come in when you first start out as a freshman, you look up, you see Tony Davis's name uh, every day. That's the one that sticks out because there's all that gap between it. Um, and now hopefully that's motivation to these guys and uh, confidence too. Because we had, yeah, we had a, Mr. Schneider come in and talk to the guys before and he, he looked at you and he said, thank you, Drew Foster. We needed that. We needed that national champ. And, you know, it's not like it's not a shortage of talk and training and living in here with the, with the coaching staff. But, but talk about the difference you've seen, because you're still wrestling, you're still in the room, you're yeah. here today. Talk about the difference you've seen from last year to this year and the impact you've had on that. Uh, I think most of it's just guys believing in themselves, right? Because you, you're rubbing shoulders with guys constantly. I mean, Lujan, freaking Steyer, Holschlag, um, yeah, sometimes the guys I went with all throughout last year, all through the years, right? I, <laughs> to say I want every single go ever would be ridiculous, right? I've got my come in and got my butt kicked a lot, all right? So these guys know, all right, he did it, we can do it. I was not, I wasn't the best guy on the team by any means, all right? We got guys a lot better that are on the team right now, and uh, I think they. They, especially the guys that I was able to roll around with and I'm still able to roll around with, they especially know that they can win a national title. I was talking with Cruz, not, not even a couple weeks ago, and we were talking about you know, how many guys are staying later and later, fifth and six years, and I'm just like, it, to me, it doesn't seem like these fifth-year seniors are having the best seniors of their career. I was like, when was the last guy that had a fifth-year senior that had the career of his lifetime? And he was like, we just saw one, dang it. So I kind of dunked on myself, but seeing you celebrate, I mean, and Doug and, and Roper and B-Rob, but seeing you celebrate with Randy Pugh and just seeing the connection you guys have had over the years, what, what does that guy mean to you, not only as a wrestling coach, but mean to you as a mentor? I mean, it, the world. I mean, I, I owe that guy so much credit. Um, to this day, he's helping me out, right? Um, not only as a wrestler, right, he kept it simple for me, but just life in general, right? To, uh, teaching me to stay consistent over time. I mean, he started getting us together, a group of like five or six of us last year, getting coffee, talking mindset, stuff like that, like little tiny things, little tiny details that, you know, are behind the scenes that no one else sees. You see the product out there. Um, I owe him a lot. He's, he's the one that was nudging, nudging Schwab to get me here initially, and freaking the rest was history. So, you have an amazing run, storybook run. I like, couldn't have wrote it up any crazier. Um, I knew, as, as a fan, I'm biased, but I knew you, I knew when you made the finals, I was like, that's a wrap. I, yeah. I told him, I was like, that's a wrap. He's got this. Um, transitioning to freestyle, making that jump. How much had you done before and focused on it as a as a true style, and how much it was just a supplement to make you better at folk style, and what are you, where are you at right now? So I think my last freestyle match was my junior year of high school, and then the next match I had was David Taylor, so. <laughs> And you won that one, <laughs> no. beat the world champ. <laughs> I know, that was unfortunate. Oh, yeah, that was unfortunate. I didn't, didn't want that to happen at all. I just wanted to go out there and scrap and kind of, you know, see where I was at, right. you know, and you want to go out and scrap with the best of the guys. Um, so now, I mean, I'm strictly training. Uh, first semester I was doing some student teaching and training too, uh, but now it's strictly training. And just from where I was at like Beat the Streets, World Team Trials to down in Texas, right? And the Bill Farrell too is tremendous. I got pushed out like freaking like 10 times against Sammy Brooks at the World Team Trials. Right? And the match was completely different um, at, uh, in Texas. So I'm seeing the jumps. Um, I'm able to transition my style, right? There's not much of a difference, I, I would say, from freestyle to folk style, besides like just more control and folk style, right? You get to ride on top a little bit more um, and control and takedowns. But I mean, my style, I think, transitions well. and. I'm seeing myself make jumps. I'm excited for what's to come. And you have Lujan banging with you, trying to make world yeah. teams next year. Um, how excited is that going to be? Just being uh, able to have him training and fully focused on everything. That's going to be nice. I, I think right now it's it's almost like you got Laser and me for PWC, so a little bit of a weight difference. I mean, we'll train together here and there, um, but when I'm training with the guys on the team, it's a lot of folk style. Which is nice. I mean, a lot of it transitions, especially on the feet. But you can't necessarily get the 
the full feel. So like to have like Lujan next year, like shoulder to shoulder. I mean, we got Parker a little bit this year too. Um, it's gonna be huge, and I think we're gonna see a lot of good things. Just not with like just with PwC with the program. Like Cedar Falls is gonna be a bumping place.